In this example, we have y e to the negative x minus sine of x quantity dx minus e to the negative x plus 2y dy equated to 0. So this is your m, this is your n. Now, partially derive your m with respect to y. Take the first term. This will be constant, e to the x, e to the negative x. So you only derive the y. Derivative of that is 1. So you need only to write e to the negative x. This one is 0 because there's no y on it. Okay, so this is the derivative of your m with respect to y. You go to the n expression. Take note, you have to include the negative sign here. Okay, so this is negative e to the negative x minus 2y dy. What is the derivative or partial derivative of n with respect to x? So the derivative of e to the negative negative e to the negative x is equal to e to the negative x times the derivative of negative x, which is negative 1. So you have a double negative here that makes your uh, final answer positive. So that is positive e to the negative x. And then derivative of 2y with respect to x is 0. So as you can see, this is exact because they both have the same partial derivative. Now, I will introduce you to a second approach. Unlike the first example, this approach will be different. What happens next is to integrate this m. So we need to integrate m. Integrate m, you write y e to the negative x minus sine of x dx. Integrate the first term. Take note that y is uh, treated constant you need only to integrate e to the negative x. What is the integral of e to the negative x? It is equal to e to the negative x times the derivative of negative x, which is negative 1. That's why you have a negative sign here. Okay? And what is the integral of negative sine of x? The integral of negative sine of x is negative cosine of x. So negative and negative, you have a double negative, that's why this is positive. And again, you have to write the function g of y because you are not integrating in terms of y here. You need to write an expression of the function in terms of y and find that one later on. So in this approach, you will not be integrating the n. Instead, you are going to partially derive the answer after integration in terms of y okay so the steps test for exactness integrate the m the answer to the integral of the m will be partially derived in terms of y so what is the integral of uh, what is the derivative partial derivative of this partial derivative of this one the partial derivative in terms of y okay in terms of y so the partial derivative you are going to write this one only because this is constant and then the partial derivative of negative y is negative one so you have negative e to the negative x and the partial derivative of cosine of x in terms of y is zero okay and the derivative of g of y is g prime of y so that is the partial derivative of this you need to find this one because um so what we're going to do next is equate this with our n so equating this with our n that's why we write in here negative e to the negative x plus g prime of y equa equated to n this is our n so we equate to negative e to the negative x minus 2y. And we are going to solve for this. So this is canceled out. Why? Because it's the same similar term. And solving for g prime of y, it's equi equivalent to negative 2y. Okay? And then to solve for g of y, because that's our concern, eh, to be able to find an expression of this, is we are going to integrate both sides so integrating g prime of y we get g of y 
And the integral of this is negative 2 y squared over 2. Mag-cancel yung 2, what's left is negative y squared. Therefore, we now have an expression of your g of y which is equal to negative y squared. You plug that into this and now you have the final answer. So your answer is negative y e to the negative x plus cosine of x minus y squared. That's your general solution. Okay.